Number five, a study of the rate of the reaction represented as A2 yields to B gives the following data. And then we have this beautiful chart right here, which links the time in seconds to the concentration of A. So it seems like as time is going on, right, as time is increasing from zero to five seconds to 10 seconds to 15 and so on and so forth, the concentration is dropping. Okay, so it seems like over time we're losing A. And that kind of makes sense because as your reaction is progressing, your A value should drop because your product should be rising. But now let's see what the question is asking for. Letter A, it says, determine the average rate of disappearance of A between 0.0, .0 seconds and 10 seconds and between 10 and 20 seconds. Okay. So it seems like we just need to find a rate value. Now, in general, a rate is linked with the speed. It's basically how much um, of a unit is changing over a certain amount of time, right? If we think about it in normal day life, when we talk about a speed, generally, you know, maybe we're driving a car and on the highway, you know, you're going 60 miles per hour. So you're changing 60 miles or you're going 60 miles in one hour, or that's the potential that you have. Um, the same thing here, but the units are going to be a little different. Now, when you're dealing with the rate, generally there's only two units for a rate that's going to be used, and nine times out of ten, you're always going to be talking about it in terms of concentration. So a rate is going to be linked with the amount of concentration that can change over a certain amount of time, which we'll say T, right? But just like as we said, it's the change in the concentration, right? As time is going on, that A value is changing and changing and changing. And we usually use a change as a delta, right? That little triangle means change. And if A is changing and I'm going through time as time is going on, technically the time is changing as well. So it's a change in that concentration over a change in time. And that's the general unit for a rate. So if we just extend this, chances are, you know, we should have some type of initial concentration with an initial time and a final concentration with a final time, right? And that's basically what a rate is. So remember, a change is always final minus initial. So in this case, it would be the rate of A over a certain time. And these would be your final values. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put that in blue just to kind of color code everything. So we have the change, or not the change, but the concentration of A over some type of time. And this is your finals minus your initial values, right? So your initial concentration of A over that initial type of time. And that will get you the general rate. Now here's the two instances, right? We need to find that rate of disappearance. Disappearance just means that when you're plugging it into the calculator, we're probably going to see a negative value. So let's just watch out for that. Now we do have two separate times. We have zero and 10 and 10 and 20. So we have technically two problems. So let's find out what the rate would be from 0.0, .0 seconds. Actually, I'll color code this. We'll make this red 0.0, .0 seconds to um, the 10 seconds. And we go to our chart to see what those numbers correlate with. Well, at zero seconds, my concentration of A is one molarity. So 1.00 molarity. And at 10 seconds, seems like my concentration is 0 0.625 molarity of A. Now we have the two correlating values, right? This is the start, so this is the initial. So these are your initial values, and here are your final values. Let's find that rate, right? The rate for this would be equal to 
final minus initial. So my final concentration is 0 0.625 over 10 seconds minus the initial. And the initial here is the 1.00 molarity minus 1.0 seconds. So let's see what we get. So this would technically be 10 minus 0 is obviously 10. And then we have 0.625 minus 1. Ah, there's the negative. And that's what we expected because it's disappearing. And then we'll give a little talk about that in two seconds once we get the answer. So let's just divide those out. This divided by 10. And we get that value. And we get an answer of 0, actually negative. 0. Ooh, 0. 0. 0.0375. Now, Calci, right, we love Calci. Calci does perfect math, right, just as long as you input the numbers correctly and you use your correct order of operations. Calci will do, you know, the math perfectly. However, Calci unfortunately does not understand science. So, Calci gives out purely positive values and purely negative values. But since we're in science world, especially physics, right, sometimes in chem, uh, but in science world, sometimes the negatives just give context. And this is one specific case. Now, when we're talking about a rate value, a rate value should always be a positive value. But now you're saying, well, why is this negative? This negative is only used for context. Whoa, what happened there? Now, since we're talking about the rate of disappearance of A, this negative just means that A is disappearing. It should be a negative slope. So it's disappearing. But my rate value is only the positive value for it. So when we're trying to answer this question, determine the average rate, the rate would be just the 0 0.0375. The negative is just saying that whoever this is, in this case it's A, it is disappearing at a rate of 0 0.0375. We wouldn't say that it's disappearing at a rate of negative 0 0.0375 because a rate value is always positive. The negative just means that Whoever you're talking about is leaving, it's disappearing. And if you get a positive rate value, that means that whoever you're talking about is appearing. Chances are it's going to be on the product side. But now let's just find out the units. Now keep in mind that we did our molarity values divided by our time values. These are two separate units, so they cannot be, um, they cannot be canceled out. So we just leave the units. We have molarity per second, and this is for the compound A. And that's it. Box this answer off. And this is the answer to the first part, right? So the rate between 0 seconds and 10 seconds is 0 0.0375 molarity per second. So that just means that A is disappearing 0 0.0375 molarity per one second. So it's dropping down 0 0.0375 molarity every second. And that's it for this one. And now we just have to do the same thing for the second part. And the second part was 10 0.0 seconds to uh, the 20 seconds. So we already know the 10 second value that was linked with 0 0.625 molarity. And now the 20 second value is all the way over here. And maybe I'll make that blue. So now 20 seconds is 0 0.360 molarity. We have our two values. Let's find out the rate. Rate always equals final minus initial. So my initial, uh, my final molarity is 0 0.360 over 20.0 seconds minus your initials 
10 seconds on the bottom and 0 0.625. Now, A is still decreasing, so I'm still probably looking at a negative value. Let's see, 0 0.36 minus 0 0.625, for sure, you get a negative 0 0.265 over 20 minus 10 is 10. So I'm just going to take this number and divide it by 10. And there is the rate. Now, keep in mind that, you know, the negative is the context. So you got a negative 0 0.0265 as your answer. That is the context. A rate should always be positive. So it is decreasing by a rate of 0 0.0265. So the actual rate here would be 0.0265 molarity per second of A. And that is the second answer. So as you see, from different points, the rate in which A is disappearing is changing. And as you're going to higher values of time, it seems like that rate is slowing down because it's it's a lower vol value than what you started off with. And that kind of makes sense because as you're getting, you know, into more and more and more time, you shouldn't have a lot of A. So that rate of disappearing should be very, very, very low because chances are you've made all your B. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Uh, take care and be well and always keep learning. Thank you for being part of the community and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.